What is good everybody, today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news and not just any WWE action figure news, we actually have a lot to cover. There's actually a lot of stuff going on that I didn't think, you know, it's usually when you get one piece of news it's not worthy of a video because it only takes me a couple, three minutes to get my thoughts out and that's not really a video right there, man. I want to wait until I have a full cusp of information to pass along or give my thoughts on before I actually make it into a video, right? So, you know, you don't want me, me to just sit there be, you know, padding stats, you know what I'm saying? So, today we do have a little of stuff that I want to get into and kind of discuss with everybody that just kind of hit in the last few days and I want to talk about everything one by one man so with that being said let's shut the hell up and get into it man let's start things first off with AEW Unmatched Unmatched Series 10 and 11 are featured in this video for different reasons so let's get into AEW Unmatched 10 this is the most recent Unmatched wave that we're talking about we talked about it maybe last week at some point we talked about the images and everything well this set is shipping from Ringside Collectibles, but the one thing that I found is it looks like it's shipping without Kyle O'Reilly. I'm not entirely sure if he's delayed. Kyle O'Reilly might be delayed from this set, so I don't know if you ordered the full set. Maybe you have to wait on that. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that this set is coming in, and Kyle O'Reilly was not a part of, of a shipment that I saw, so I'm not entirely sure if it's everybody's shipment or if it's just that specific shipment, but Kyle O'Reilly, is he delayed? I don't know. I went to their website. He's still up for pre-order, so I'm not entirely sure if he's in stock. If he's not in stock, he's not shipped, he's delayed, whatever the case is. Just wanted to pass the information along right there. Also, since these are shipping, I should be reviewing these by the way. I, I would think by Saturday these should be at my door, if not today, that you're seeing this video. So those reviews should be coming up, and I, I look forward to reviewing this wave. I think it's a damn good wave, so we'll get into that. But next up, we have AEW Unmatched Series 11. Now this is, I guess it's going to depend. You can let me know your thoughts on this one down below. But AEW Unmatched Series 11, this is the set. It's a very, I think it's a pretty good set as well. But Unmatched Series 11 Sting is being changed. So if you guys were unaware, the first go around or the original side of this figure or you know what this figure was supposed to be was going to be the yellow tights with the red boot sting now this is going to feature the black and yellow sort of lightning bolt face paint with the screaming face and then he had another sort of pissed off grimacing sort of you know just crazed eyes head sculpt going on with the red yellow and black face paint that was going to be the interchangeable head sculpt with the rat tail and everything going on to the Sting figure. You know, a surfer style Sting. It was going to be a throwback Sting that everybody's looking forward to. Well, this figure has actually been changed. It has been updated. I do not know exactly why, but he has been changed to this gear, which is going to be in the white gear with the blue boots. And it has it features a blue, black, and red scorpion on the side. The facial expressions are the exact same, but the face paint has changed. So now, on the crazed head sculpt, you're getting a white, black, and, you know, blue color. And then on the other head sculpt, the shape has changed, but it's essentially the same color palette. You're getting that blue, that white, that black. And personally for me, you can let me know what you think. I like the updated one better. I like the updated... You, you guys know that uh, white and blue, two of my favorite colors, if not my two favorite colors. It's, it's the best color combo ever. It just looks so damn clean. I love it. I think that the white crushes the yellow, I personally. And also, it comes with a scorpion on the side instead of the Sting's text going down. So I, for one, think this is a damn good change. I, I, I'm here for the change. Now, would I have liked to have seen all of them? Yes, I would have liked to have seen all three, all, you know, both of these Stings hit the market. I almost said three, but that's because there's a chase. If you guys weren't aware, this set of Sting, this Unmatched Series 11 Sting, comes with a chase variant, and it's going to be the one of 3,000 rare. It's the Blade Runner. It's got the silver and black and the gray and everything. It's got the necklace. Pretty cool figure overall. I know a lot of people are going to want their hands on the Sting right here, but we get two Stings, and I, for one, am happy that it's going to be the white tights over the yellow tights, but you can be the judge there. You can let me know if you like the original or you bummed out about the Switch, but AEW and Jazzwares and Ringside Collectibles did announce this and wanted to make sure everybody was you know, up to date on the knowledge, so I wanted to pass it along here. If you guys missed out on that, yes, that figure has been changed, but I'm all for it. I'm all for the change. I think it was an upgrade, so I'm not going to be bishing about that. Let's get into some more AEW figures here. This was a leaked image online of the Hardy Boys. Now, I do not know what specific set this is. I want to say this is the set that we saw on display at the Fan Fest. Not the most recent Fan Fest, but the Fan Fest before that. Remember, the Matt Hardy figure was out there with Jeff Hardy, and then they ended up... I can't remember. I think they just took Matt away because he was no longer in AEW. But they took this figure off the display, and they deleted the image in the video that this figure was featured in or whatever. But I remember putting it in that news video. You know, they took it down, whatever. But this is... These are damn good-looking figures. And I said the same thing, but this is a better image of them. You can kind of see what's going on. You have a repeat leg mold. They pretty much 
are the exact same figure from head to toe. You're just having a change in head sculpt. I mean, everything about these figures is the exact same. You're getting different hands, I think, on Matt because of the, you know, the change there. But I'm pretty sure these figures are pretty, you know, they're exactly the same, I'm pretty sure. I, I would not doubt it that these are ex the exact same. But let's the leg mold. The leg mold, the torsos, the shoulders and arms look to be all the same here. But these look very good as a Jeff Hardy and Hardy Boys fan, Matt Hardy. I do enjoy these, and I think he is going to come with the signature hands as well, and I think he comes with a mesh shirt, so I love these. I like the face paint. It's kind of crazy. I want to say he comes with an interchangeable head sculpt as well. He's got the purple hair. It's got all the tattoos. It's a very cool figure. Now, I don't think they're perfect figures. I think they're going to be a bit oversized, kind of like what we saw with Jeff's first go-around, but these are still certainly great figures, and I look forward to more Hardy Boys. I think there was even, you know, the black shirt variants of those two coming later on down the line, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm all for Hardy Boys figures, but I wanted to put this image up because it's a different take on it, and you can kind of get in on all that, but that was the leaked image of some Hardy Boys figures that are coming soon. I can't remember off the top of the dome again what the series is. I want to say, is it Unrivaled 16, I think? I don't know, but anyway, let's move on. We also had some some information coming out here from Action Figure Attack, Steve Ozer. He posted up the last few figures remaining in the next Greatest Hits line. Now, we knew about this Greatest Hits line because we saw it back at, Wrest uh, not WrestleMania, but San Diego Comic-Con. We saw Sheamus. We saw Natalia. We saw John Cena. Now, we don't have the last figure in the set, which we'll get into, but we did get to see the Miz figure that's coming in this set. So you guys will see it is going to be, I want to say this is a re-release of the WrestleMania, the WrestleMania Elite Toys R Us exclusive Miz that's going to come with the WWE Championship. You can see here that it does come with a spinner belt and the original figure came with a dull version of the WWE Championship. So here you are getting a, another WWE Championship, but it is going to be the Elite 100 John Cena version where it's going to be shiny. It's going to have the spinner operation in the middle, even though it doesn't spin very well. But it's going to be a, a an updated Miz. And we haven't seen a, a Miz with updated arms yet, so this is going to be a nice figure here. At least I don't. I'm pretty sure we haven't seen an updated double jointed arm Miz, and so this will be a nice figure there. You know, you could head swap it with a different Miz or whatever if you wanted to make an updated. Maybe swap it with a basic or something. But hopefully this figure will be okay. You know, we haven't seen a Miz figure in a really long time in elite form. Period. So I think this is a pretty cool one here. But that's not even the best part because he also showed off the last figure, or not the last figure, the second to last figure. The second to last figure in this set is going to be Cody Rhodes from Elite Series 13, which is a huge one. He's going to come with the jacket. He's going to come with the face mask. He comes with a damn paper bag. This is a great figure right here. I know a lot of people are going to be excited. I'm actually intrigued to know if they're going to be using that Daniel Bryan torso that they used back in the day or if they're actually going to switch it to the updated Cody Rhodes torso that they use nowadays. I'd imagine that it's probably going to be the old torso, like the Daniel Bryan torso, to keep it as close to that original as possible. You know, they say, oh, he got more muscular or whatever. Hey, I guess it doesn't matter. You know, he probably did. He definitely got more muscular because he's been building muscle over time. But I don't know. As far as the, the, the torso, it's not the biggest deal if you want to switch it. It's just something to point out there. But we are going to be getting Cody Rhodes here, which is a great figure. The only figure now from the set that we don't know about is going to be Roman Reigns. But it does look like, if you look at the back of the packaging for this set. So we saw the Sheamus, we saw the Miz, we saw Natalia, we saw John Cena, we saw Cody Rhodes. Now, we have not seen Roman Reigns that's going to be in this set. Now, one thing that's interesting about that is it does look like it's a big dog Roman Reigns. So I'm thinking a new double-jointed Roman that's probably not going to have all of his tattoos. It could have all of his tattoos. It may be. I think he did have the updated tattoo before, but I think, or maybe he didn't. I can't remember off the top of the dome, but it'll probably be some sort of vest color that maybe we got or maybe we didn't get. It could be the white vest, the lime green vest, the red vest, the brown vest, the black vest. There's so many damn vests they could do. It'd be cool if it was the Elite 56 with the Nike boots. That would be a cool addition there to the Greatest Hits line or maybe even Elite 84. There's a lot of ones they could pick. It's just going to depend, I guess, on what they decide there. It'd be cool if they just up upgrade the figure, give us a new, you know, a different big dog head sculpt, and then gave us a vest we've never seen before. That would be really cool, but I am unsure what the hell that's going to be, but we did get to see some Greatest Hits figures. Greatest Hits Cody and Greatest Hits Miz, and then, you know, now we're just waiting on the Roman Reigns figure to figure out exactly what the whole, t you know, the whole entire wave is going to entail there, but the last bit of news we have here is going to be, if you guys missed our toy hunt from the other day, you definitely need to go check out the toy hunt. We found some new stuff hitting retail. I know Target's going crazy with the TMNT line. We got some other stuff going on. But the Elite 110, Elite 110 is hitting retail shelves. So I found the Tribal Chief on our toy hunt. I also found Pretty Deadly. So if you guys missed that opportunity, definitely go check out that toy hunt. It was a lot of fun. We always have fun on the toy hunts. 
going around seeing what's hitting retail shelves. We've been on the lookout for the Team and T figures with Xavier Woods and Roman Reigns. I have found the Kofi Kingston. I'm just trying to find the Roman Reigns and Xavier Woods so I can review that first set. And then, of course, later on, we're going to be looking for Series 2 featuring the Casey Jones Cody that I am definitely, you know, desperately after right now. So we'll see about that. And then the other figures we saw were the Gujitsu figures. We did not see the Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes 2 pack, but we did find John Cena and Rey Mysterio, which I thought was pretty interesting. And so if you guys missed that toy hunt, definitely go check that out again. But yeah, man, my toy hunt's been, I don't know, man. They, they've they been disappointing me because I'm not finding the stuff I want to find, but we're still finding cool stuff, you know? So I, I've been wanting to find, you know, Monday Night War Series 2, 3, or 4. Been seeing everybody find those. Still haven't even seen one figure from any of those sets. And then, of course, the TMNT figures and then any other cool shish we could find. Still haven't seen Sting either. I know I got my two copies of the Supreme Sting. Still haven't found the figure itself, so it's kind of bummerific. But that is, I think, all of the news that we had here today. Just want to get on here and cover it. Uh, just a short re a breakdown of everything, man. We have AEW Unmatched 10 shipping from ringside, and it seems to be without Kyle O'Reilly. We have Unmatched Series 11 Sting that is being changed from the McDonald's attire to the white and blue attire with the Scorpion on the side. We have the leaked image of the Hardy Boys figures that look pretty damn good. Excited for those Hardy Boys, especially that mesh shirt that comes on the Jeff Hardy, apparently. I don't think both of them come with a mesh shirt. I think Matt comes with just a regular Hardy Boy shirt. But then we have the Greatest Hits Cody and Miz Reveal, of course, with the Roman Reigns being the final figure in the Greatest Hits set. And then we do have Elite 110 hitting retail, as well as the Gujitsu figures, which uh, have been a big hit in my house. So. I'm always constantly collecting those. My son's got a better collection than me, apparently. But anyways, man, I'm getting the hell out of here. That is pretty much going to wrap the news. Thank you guys so very much for watching. It is game day for me, so wish me luck there. Hopefully, we can put a boot in the ass. But a huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. As always, you guys are absolute beasts, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys so very much, man. Thank you guys so very much for the support. But I'm getting out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.